Terra Wolf, the ticker is W-U-L-F, just mm -hmm. announced the deal today for $3.7 billion. I saw Terra Wolf all over the headlines today. It was on every single page. They were a Bitcoin miner that's now getting into AI demand. Wow. Power is the critical element here. Things are moving quickly here at Terra Wolf. Our team is working around the clock to bring capacity online for our existing tenants, as well as execute new hosting agreements with additional customers. Today, we're taking you inside Lake Mariner data to show you the very first phase of what we're building for our partner, Core42. And since we filmed this, we've reached another major milestone, over 450 megawatts of long-term hosting agreements with FluidStack, backed by Google, who is now our largest shareholder. This kind of momentum is exactly why TerraWolf is a leader in digital infrastructure. We're building campuses designed for speed, scale, and sustainability. Hi everyone, and welcome to TerraWolf's first AI and HPC operations update. I'm Sean Farrell, Chief Operating Officer at TerraWolf. Over the past decade, we've been focused on expanding beyond our vertically integrated Bitcoin mining business to diversify our infrastructure and available low carbon power for artificial intelligence and high performance computing. Because the digital infrastructure of tomorrow is being built today and TerraWolf is powering it with sustainable energy and scalable future ready infrastructure anchored by a planned 750 megawatts of capacity at our Lake Mariner facility. In this update, we'll walk through how we're leveraging our deep energy expertise, strategic partnerships, and industrial scale infrastructure to capture the growing demand across AI and HPC landscapes. Let's get started. TerraWolf has built something that's hard to replicate. Access to prime sites with low cost, low carbon power, decades of energy and infrastructure expertise, and full vertical integration that allows us to control everything from design to operations. That combination makes us leaders in digital infrastructure. At our core, we are converters, focused on finding the highest and best use for our access to power and compute capacity. A few years ago, that meant Bitcoin mining. Today, it means designing and delivering customized data centers to power the next generation of AI and high performance computing workloads. When it comes to data centers, robust infrastructure is everything. Our data centers are not just engineered to meet today's compute and power density needs. We have worked with the leading GPU manufacturers and integrators to design power and mechanical loads to support compute technology for decades to come. Let's walk through some of the key features of our first facility, which has been purpose-built for our first AI customer, Core42. So this is the data hall, the heart of the operation, with three primary parameters, power, fiber, and underfloor piping. Overhead, we've implemented a Starline busway system to deliver modular, high-capacity power distribution. Next, you'll see our cable trays, which separate data and power cabling to reduce electromagnetic interference. Under the 36-inch raised floor is the mechanical piping with varying configuration of direct liquid to chip and rear door heat exchangers for liquid supply. Right now, Dell is deploying racks on behalf of our tenant, Core42. These racks are configured for high power GPU systems with power densities approaching 100 kilowatts per rack with AMD GPUs. The entire data hall is designed to support rapid deployment, tier three like uptime, and industry leading efficiencies. This is the mechanical room, the core of our facility's thermal management system, which provides chill water to underfloor piping. At the heart of the system are our chillers. These units are responsible for directing heat from the data hall by circulating chilled water via a closed loop system with minimal to no water usage. Now taking you outside of the building to the dry cooler yard. Dry coolers are a critical component of our thermal management system for AI and HPC operations. While the mechanical room houses the internal cooling infrastructure, the dry cooler yard is where heat ultimately exits the system. By integrating advanced dry cooling technology, we're able to eliminate water usage and treatment cost. Simplify our operations with a sealed, low maintenance loop, ensure high system uptime with low risk clean air cooling, and achieve industry leading PUE with annualized efficiency under 1.25, all while advancing our ESG goals through environmentally responsible design. A major part of our success as we scale our AI and HPC operations has been the people behind it, both at TerraWolf and the partners and customers we work with every day to make this vision a reality. 
My name is Mike Rand and I'm the project manager for AI Buildouts. When I first got here, I was very impressed by the magnitude and complexity of this project. But uh, the thing that has made this different from anything else that I've worked on are the people I work with. The, the people that I've worked with both on our side and the contractors we've worked with are some of the most intelligent, most creative, and actually most helpful and compassionate people that I've ever had the pleasure to build something with. Hi, my name is Larry Rouse and I am the program manager for Dell Technologies and I am uh, here in Buffalo with the deployment. The most enjoyable part of this project has been the, uh, you know, the, the quality people here at the Wolf team and uh, everybody from the beginning of the, the process and the design and then all the way down to the execution with uh, the team on the ground helping us uh, keep the velocity that we want to make on these deployments. My name is Doug Colvin. I'm a senior project manager at Co42. So working and building an AI facility in Buffalo is one of the more interesting things you can do. It's a cutting edge technology in the right place, in the right country. From day one I got here, they helped me get up to speed as quickly as possible in a safe way. It's been great seeing the development from a power station facility to one that's producing AI power. Really interesting, really quick the way it's happening, so really pleased to be involved in this. When we were choosing our very first hosting customer, we wanted a partner who could grow with us. And Core42, a wholly owned subsidiary of G42, was the clear choice. They recognized our expertise, understood what we could deliver, and knew we could scale capacity as their needs grew. That's what made this partnership work from day one. Our partnership with FluidStack is the next step in that evolution. FluidStack is focused on building out capacity for AI workloads, and they share the same ambition and urgency we do. The fact that Google chose to back them is a powerful signal. It demonstrates that some of the most sophisticated players in the world believe in the opportunity ahead and our ability to deliver upon it. What you just saw is only the beginning of what we're building here at TerraWolf. With the Wolf Den and CB1 online and CB2 nearing completion, we're set to deliver 72 and a half megawatts of capacity to Core 42. And there's much more to come. Our partnership with FluidStack and Google puts us on a path to deliver more than 450 megawatts of capacity throughout 2026. And with exclusive rights to develop another 400 megawatts at our Cayuga site, we now have a platform capable of more than a gigawatt of capacity. Thanks for joining us. For the latest updates, follow us on our social channels and sign up for our newsletter and investor alerts at terrawolf.com. Stay tuned, we are just getting started.